Hello, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be showcasing the Spellbinders Better Press, Glimmer, and Wax Seal of the Month Clubs for April 2024. Let's get started. Let's start with the Better Press of the Month. This one is called Stitched for You, and it has six different Better Press plates as well as three cutting dies. The cutting dies cut out the scissors which are so cute it also has a registration plate which is this clear piece that i'm going to show you how that works it also cuts out the thimble and the outside of this embossing floss bobbin and the better press plates that are included you see this one you lay it on this little registration acetate and then when you're done with it you can better press the other section, which is this thread that goes inside the bobbin. At least that's the order that I did it. I did the bobbin first and the thread second. All right, there's also the thimble, the scissors, and three sentiments. So I think I said six, but actually it has more than that. It has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven better press plates and uh, three dies and the dies cut out these scissors on I have already um, what I did was instead of better pressing the scissors I foiled them with my glimmer hot foil machine I did the same thing with the thimbles I made three of those with silver hot foil oh they turned out really nice the third cutting die cuts out the bobbin there are also sentiments included in this better press there are three different sentiments sending stitchy hugs and I did that with my glimmer hot foil machine off camera uh, this one says stitch just for you sorry I'm having a hard time getting that to focus hopefully the next there we go stitch just for you and like I said I glimmered these off camera and um, best stitches on your birthday and the blue is cobalt and then the pink is pink hot foil and then the silver. So I did that off camera, but I am going to show you how to use this registration template. Um, and here's the packaging a little bit uh, closer on the camera so that you have an idea of what the sentiments look like. I'm using the Spellbinders Better Press Bisque Cotton Card Panels. This is an off-white. Um, because this is having to do with scissors and embossing floss and stitching, I just thought maybe a more of an antique look would look nice uh, when I better press this. Uh, you can also do it with the white. And they also have an off-white sort of gray colored paper. And you can get full sheets or you can get them already cut and the card panel sizes. Okay, so here's the registration template. You want to put that on there and then you want to use a piece of washi tape. I'm using the best crafting tape from Spellbinders, taping that down to the magnetic part of my Better Press system. And I'm going to use Tawny Brown Better Press ink. I'll have all of the items that I'm using linked below in my description box. When you are creating with better press you are inking your better press plate and then running it through your spellbinders platinum six machine or another uh, manually operating die cut machine my paper is on this clear top plate my paper has been taped on and now without touching that top plate I'm going to run this through my Plat platinum six and what I mean is I'm not pressing down on it I'm not um, doing anything I'm letting the machine do all the work and this is what it looks like and it's got a nice deep deeply etched impression and it's very crisp and clear so that's the first one that I created I'm going to go ahead and repeat this step but first let's go ahead and do the thread which is in the middle and I'm just going to wipe this excess ink off of this registration template. 
Really, it's just a piece of acetate. This is Strawberry Better Press ink. Making sure that I have this aligned in the right direction. I'm using my magnetic flashlight. It just helps me to move these around a little bit easier, more easily to move around. All right, and down we go with the Strawberry ink. Now, using that same paper, I didn't take it off of the clear top plate. I left it where it was. I didn't remove it because this is a two-step letterpress project. So the first step was the bobbin and the second step is the thread. And this is the finished project. Now you can remove it from the clear plate. Doesn't that look great? I love it. Uh, the third step will be to die cut that bobbin with the thread just to die cut it using the die that comes with this um, better press of the month kit. All right, let's put this little registration plate here uh, horizontally. This way I can get two per piece of my cotton cardstock, right? Because we want to get the most out of our paper that we purchased from Spellbinders. And if I can die cut two bobbin, bobbins on one sheet, that makes the most sense. Again, I'm going to grab my clear top and it's magnetic. It does um, connect with magnets and you do not need to press it down manually. You just need to send it through the machine, let the machine do the work. So off camera, I tape that piece of bisque colored cotton card panel onto the plate. Now I'm running it through my Platinum 6. Be careful not to touch that top plate. Don't pro oh, like I just pressed down. I didn't mean to do that. I try not to do that because I think it could uh, result in like a double, a double registration. Okay. And then I just rotated the paper and I'm running it through one more time. After I re-inked the better press plate. I'm going to run it through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And then you can see I have two bobbins here. And now I'll take that bobbin better press plate off and I'll put the thread on. And I'm going to use a different color ink this time. Once I get this lined up, I grab a different color ink. This time I'm using, I think the blue or the green. Yeah, whoa, what color was that? That was quick. That was hydrangea. All right, so let's go ahead and ink this up. I did clean that bobbin, but it sometimes the ink will stain your press plates, but that's okay. That does not do anything to alter the quality of the press plate. Sometimes people use really strong cleaners as far as um, like an archival ink cleaner, but I just use whatever I have handy to tell you the truth. There, that looks nice. Very nice. Now I'm going to just remove the better press plate, leaving the registration template where it is not moving it at all because I'm basically going to do this again with another color and this is going to be green and the color is leaf and one thing that's nice about spellbinders they keep coming out with new colors of ink which is great but if you are like me and you just have some basic colors don't worry, you can always combine colors. So you can take blue and red together to make purple. So if there's a color that's missing, just be creative and think of ways that you can combine your inks. Which what I mean is ink it in one color and then ink it in another color. But you'd have to run it through one time after you ink those two inks together. I have other videos where I created using... Um, two colors of ink to create my own color. I'll link those down in the description box. 
All right. Now off camera, I did some of the prep work just to make this video a little bit less lengthy. And I'm using the glimmer of the month, which is called So Amazing. And off camera, I glimmered that with cobalt glimmer hot foil. By the way, when you order a glimmer of the month kit, you not only get a fabulous new glimmer of the month kit, you also get a new roll of hot foil, a full roll. And this month, the color is cobalt. This glimmer also comes with four sentiments. And those sentiments are stitched with love. You are so amazing, happy stitching, and so thankful, as well as a banner to die cut. A die that's shaped like a banner that you can use then to die cut these sentiments. And so off camera, I just went ahead and foiled those in uh, different colors, silver, gold, and the cobalt blue. So here I'm holding them closer to the camera. They are sort of like a wavy sentiment. They're not straight across, which is really nice. And here is that banner die that works with all of these sentiments. Okay, and that's what that would look like when you die cut your sentiments. I've pulled together all the different components that I want to use on my first card. I have some embroidery floss. This is a light green, sort of a teal color. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap some of this around the paper bobbin. This will give my card some texture and a little bit of three dimension. So I just go ahead and wrap that around a few times, trim it, and then the back I will tape using the best craft tape ever. Just taping it right down to the paper. That way it won't slip off the bobbin. Okay, so that's how you would, um, you know, if you want to run some embroidery floss through that bobbin. And then I have all of my different components here. I even grabbed the wax seal of the month that I had um, using that cloudy blue uh, Spellbinders wax beads. And I'm going to just go ahead and adhere everything to this um, embossing folder. This is the classic embossing folder, which was the uh, 3D embossing folder of the month for last month, March. So for my sentiment, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the Spellbinders uh, small square foam. And these are nice because they are so easy to release the backing. You can release them with your fingers, even if you have fingernails like me. Now Spellbinder sends me the wax seal, the better press, and the stitching die of the month on a monthly basis. I purchase on my own the 3D embossing folder, the regular embossing folder, the stamp and die of the month, the glimmer of the month. So you can see I'm a real big fan of all these clubs that they have. Um, they also have a large and a small die of the month. This package contains these um, wax seal adhesive circles. And when you're a member of any of the Spellbinders club kits, um, you do get discount on Spellbinders pr products. And you can also get all of the clubs and it's called the whole caboodle. And so if, if, if you like everything that they have to offer, then that would be the club for you. And that club, they get a free exclusive product every month. I don't know what that is this month because I'm not a member of that club, but I'm just letting you know. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this up, this bobbin up with some of those mini foam squares. And I'm just trying to figure out my placement before I go ahead and permanently adhere everything down. And I have die cut on some ivory colored paper, one of the Spellbinders Essential Modern Oval. It's part of a nesting die set that Spellbinder sells on their website. And I thought that would be a nice shape to go for my scissors to rest upon. I just didn't want them resting directly on the 3D embossing folder. My fear was 
they would be hard to be seen because they are silver and um, they're silver hot foiled. I was just worried that it would not pick up on so much detail if I just put it directly to the embossing folder panel. And so I'm going to use some of my Barely Art Glue and just directly glue this down to this stylish oval. And it's okay if some of your components overlap. So the, you can see the tip of the scissors overlaps with the bobbin. And here's our thimble. I did hot foil that with silver hot foil on my Spellbinders Glimmer machine. Just going to use an acrylic block on top of the scissors so that they will adhere properly and securely. I placed two foam dots on the back of the thimble. I'm just trying to figure out where to put the thimble before I make my final decision. I'll go ahead and grab that wax seal and see how everything would be best to be laid out. You can see I'm just trying to make my mind up here. Okay, that's probably where I'll end up landing. I'm going to remove the adhesive back of this wax seal um, adhesive circle. These are super sticky. You don't have to worry about, I mean, it's ready to go. You just peel and stick. You don't have to worry about the glue drying or anything like that. So this is the first card that I made using so many different cl clubs. Um, and then the second card I'll show you here in a minute. Let's just glue down our embossing thread with a little glue dot, little dot of glue. And again, the acrylic block holds it in place so it'll dry. For my second card, I'm incorporating the glimmer of the month. And so I hot foiled all the different stitches, at least most of the different stitches onto a piece of cardstock and again I have the stylish oval I'm going to um, change the direction of my scissors I'm going to have them pointing up but um, just going to go ahead and put th this card together real quick for you just to show you there are many options when creating with these products for the sake of time I am going to fast forward this this is four times the normal speed so I don't craft this quickly in real life, but I wanted to let you know to hold on till the end of this video. I will have photos of the completed cards. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe so that you're notified of when my videos are posted. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. What do you think about these cards using the new Better Press of the month and some of the compo end components from the Glimmer of the month together. Such a cute theme this month. I'm not a seamstress. I don't know how to sew. But I, I know a lot of my friends are into sewing and I think they would really appreciate this type of um, card because it's sort of vintage style, but super cute. All right, so now I did use some of those small foam dots to pop up my glimmer sentiment there that says so thankful. I think I'll just use a light blue card base which I'm just going to glue down and I have some of these sentiments left over so I'll probably end up making another card off camera um, in the near future. So there are my two finished cards. Again hang on for a second so that you can see the still photos. I think they do much better justice to the finished products. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget in the description box, I will have links to all of the products that I used. Again, thank you very much for watching and have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.